We're going to move on then to talk about uh, business comments. And we had a question in from two members of the public, Adam from Worcester and Mike from Hereford, and they are asking, um, what are the police investing in protecting local businesses? Okay, okay, okay. Well, uh, well uh, you've spoken already about the uh, role of business crime officers, and we've got um, each of our local policing areas, each of us, Shropshire, Talbot and Weekend, Herefordshire, and uh, North Worcestershire and South Worcestershire, have got um, the role of business crime officers. And their job is proactive engagement within our business and rural communities, um, looking at getting that two-way communication so we can gather that intelligence and we can also um, assist um, members of those communities to actually do that crime reduction activity that we really need to see. Um, so the Your Business Matters campaign is um, there to raise awareness and reduce crime, um, to give advice and information to business communities. Um, and, and that's working uh, you know, very effectively. We have a lead for this, our superintendent actually from here from Hereford leads on this for us to make sure that we've got a coordinated response and where we've got good practice happening, we share that across our force area. Um, our safer neighbourhood teams, and we've already spoken to, also work with businesses in the form of um, you know, sort of partnerships around shop watch, uh, around pub watch schemes, to make sure that people who are trying to run a business don't have to suffer the impact of a criminality uh, that reduces their ability to be able to survive. Um, I know there's some concerns around shoplifting, you know, and, and actually, you know, the shop watch scheme and the problem solving partnership based schemes that we see are a really effective way to tackle these. Um, I've already mentioned we don't find crime. I'm going to give it another plug because it is really important yeah. to us. Um, and we utilise that with our local businesses, especially um, business premises that could be um, susceptible to potential burglars. Um, it gives us that, that headway, really, in terms of being able to identify property and identify people who have been to, to properties. Um, so, you know, I, I think we're doing quite a lot. There's much more to do, but that sits around us forming those great relationships with our business communities, listening to the problems and being able to respond to those effectively. I know when John and I go out and about, certainly with people from businesses, they will say, oh, I came in, my place has been burgled, but I didn't bother to report it because nothing ever happened. Should people report it and, and why? Yes, they should report it. Um, if, if it's not reported, we don't know it's happening. And if we don't know it's happening, we aren't able to link those series of offences together. Um, and that means that when we come to identify the offenders who are responsible, whether that's by you know, a stop check in a vehicle, a warrant that we've exercised, um, we can't link the property back to that premises. That means that we can't charge them with that offence. Um, so it's really important for us. If you are subject of an offence, we need to know about it. We also need to know what's happening in our communities so that we can put our patrols in the right place. Um, you know, when we do our proactive um, you know, sort of patrolling, we look at areas that have had criminality happen so that we can um, target them and make sure if anybody is returning to a premises or is returning to a location, we get the opportunity to stop them. We also find that people approach us at that point and say they've seen something suspicious and again, that's something I would encourage the public to let us know about. If they see or hear anything suspicious, but if you are subject to any crime whatsoever, I'd 